Hey guys, welcome back. In previous lecture, we have seen how to create a repository, right? In this lecture, we are going to clone that repository onto our local system. How to clone? We are going to see that one. Before that one, let's understand how the local and remote repository works. If you see here, couple of commands you might be familiar by this time. That is git add command and git commit command. These two commands we have done and move and remove just ignore it so git add where we want to add our files from working area to staging area then git commit where we want to add our commands from staging area to local repository now just keep this repository for aside we have created a demo repo right so this is the repository we have created demo repo so this repository we are not using for some time let it keep aside now, after doing that one, what we have done, we have created our account on remote repository and we created a repository over here. So, that repository I would like to clone into my local system. We are concentrating on this command git clone. So, we are going to clone this repository onto workspace or onto our local system. So, this is how our systems looks like at this moment. So just think that this is developer one or my laptop and this is a Linux system and a few other developers also want to get the same repository and we have initialized a repository over here and if I do git clone repository name that repository is going to come onto my local system same thing we can do from the other systems as well to get this code or to get this repository anyway we are going to execute git clone command to pull the code from our repository. Now let's jump into our GitHub account to get the URL of repository to clone it onto my local system. This is our remote repository which we have created in our previous lecture. So to clone this repository onto our local system, we need to take this repository URL. For that, click on code. Then we are going to use HTTP, HTTPS URL. So copy this one and go back to our working directory. Now this is anyway repo, inside a repo again I don't want to create a repository so go back over here. So under projects I am going to clone that remote repository. For that I am going to open git bash over here. So nothing but under projects folder we have initialized git bash. I have increased font size. Okay. Now you can just see here if I do git status over here you can see not a git repository what does it mean that it is not a repository right it is just a folder only demo repo is the repository in case if you want to know that whether a directory is a repository or not it should have dot git directory here we don't have dot git directory so it is not a repository if you want to convert this entire project folder as a repository then we can execute git init dot okay that we can do but i don't want to do that one for now, we just want to clone the repository onto this folder. For that, we need to use a command called git clone and the repository URL. So, I have copied the repository URL and you can see this is https github.com slash revd. This is my account followed by the repository name and it comes with dot git extension. If I do this one, it is going to clone the repository onto my local system. My local system nothing but developer one system and you can see the vt git dot repo sorry vt git repo has been created over here and if I click over here you can see dot git and repo nothing but it is a repository and again if I go back here and pwd present working directory I am under projects and I should go inside to Velaxi technologies git repo and clear the screen and if I do ls over here you can see only readme file is there and if I open readme file hash vt git repo nothing but Velaxi technologies git repo so this is the content we have cloned from our remote repository now I can do my development activities on this repository and I can push it back how we can add changes and pushing these changes to the remote repository we are going to see in the next lecture thanks for watching and see you there